So yesterday, we end up in making the gun shoot. Now, today I will be showing you how to make the gun reload and the ammo system. Now this is going to be an easy tutorial. So without further ado, let's start now. Um, op um, before we start uh, coding, we're going to make a the UI using the new Unity UI. So just game object up here, UI. And then find text. All right. Now I'm going. Uh, I just changed this to 2D, so I can see the UI easily. Just drag it where, wherever you want it. I'm just going to put it on the corner right there and change it. Change the um, color, and don't forget to make it uh, pixel perfect. Now, um, what I'm going to do is the canvas scaler um, change the UI scale mode to um, scale with screen size. Now, <clears throat> as you can see, um, it's, it's out of bound. What we have to do is just to scale um, our screen. Uh, if we don't to scale, we're just going to do the standalone. No, that's too small. Mm. Okay, I'm just going to do like this. So canvas text, let's move it in inside the box. Where's the bottom line? Oh, there we go. Up here, and then just change this to the middle one, and then um, I'm gonna I'm going to change the size by uh, 25. 35, 35 is so good and then just do this and duplicate it by pressing ctrl D uh, place next to it and let's ctrl D again place next to it now the middle one what we're gonna do is just do slash so the left one will be our ammo and the right one will be our um, you know the amount of ammo we have now the slash is just too huge so I'm going to move it slightly smaller resize it slightly smaller and just put it like that that should be fine now I'm going to rename this uh, current ammo this one should be divider and this one should be let's say um, not uh, not max ammo. Um, I just say backup ammo. All right. Now open your script. So yesterday we end up like this. Now what you're going to do now is add a new function and not not a new I mean a new variable, not a function public in current ammo this is the ammo that we have on our gun right now then public int um, backup ammo public in time um, let's name this reload time all right now on private function um, real time this one should be you now this is default by three seconds you can change this to how long you want but I'm just going to do three second um, public bull um, public bull is is reloading so if input that key kiko dot mouse one what we're gonna do is and is reloading is false just by adding the exclamation point behind um this one that, that is reloading it's going to check if it's false so it's an alternative way uh, if you're not using the uh, the exclamation point what you're gonna see is like this but this is just way too long so I'm just gonna add 
it's gonna add exclamation point now if input dot get key down key code dot r and not that's not end and is reloading is false too now when the player press the r button what i'm going to do here is is reloading is equal to true then um if is reloading reload time uh, make sure the time is a float then just add point zero float or f reload time um minus by time dot delta time uh, let's do this fix delta time if reload time is lower or the zero than zero real uh, is reloading is equal to false now uh, make a new function here called uh, void reload um, over here on get key down key code r just add reload and just call the function the reload function all right um <clears throat> uh, let's just add a start function here public start now my when i start the game i want my current ammo to be 30 so i can shoot when i start the game uh, this is mandatory this is not mandatory so if you don't want the player to have 30 ammo right on the start, uh, then you don't have to follow this step. Next is backup ammo. I want the player to have an extra 90 ammo so the, so the player can reload uh, 3 times. When that's done, um, okay. Reload, okay. If backup uh, before that, I'm going to make a new variable here called shot is equal to current ammo i forgot here public in um maximum ammo uh, which are all all or i'm going to name this full ammo now full ammo will default by 30 uh, full ammo which mean is uh, how many is the full ammo of a gun so default 30 so the current ammo shall not be more than 30 now var shot is equal current ammo um not, do not do current ammo first uh, max not max ammo full ammo minus by by uh, what's it called again current ammo now this is to find how many uh, bullet that we shot by decreasing full ammo so I'll get the amount and when it's done if bullet not bullet if current ammo not current ammo if shot is I mean backup ammo oh that's hard <laughs> backup ammo is lower then shot current ammo is equal to shot and backup ammo is minus by shot so the logic if i have 10 backup ammo and it takes 20 my current ammo will be 20 no that make no sense backup ammo backup ammo will be minus by shot I mean just add uh, backup ammo is equal to zero now on the other hand if backup ammo is bigger than zero 
and pick up ammo is larger than shot or I can just just check it, the first one just back up ammo um, you don't have to do this what you have to do is just add an else found else here so this is going to check if else if backup ammo is bigger than shot what we're going to do is current ammo um, plus is equal to shot and then backup ammo minus by shot now let's do it oh um forgot to connect the the text up on our game so public text now you can't find text yet so what you have to do is using unity engine dot ui now public text this one is called um, current emo text, public text, backup emo text. On the void update, you wanna do is current emo text dot text is equal to current emo and backup emo text dot text is equal to backup emo text. No, 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 just backup emo, not text. So don't forget to add a two string and a two string now on your game um, open where you place your script now this should ask in current amo so just drag current amo and backup amo now when we start our game anytime soon there we go uh, when I shoot it doesn't dig why can I only shoot once um One should so one is the kind of anyone. This will this will is false, right? No, I don't want to maximize on play. I want to check the variable. Shootable, shootable is not true. I guess we're missing something here. Uh, I guess I just need to add start curtain shooting yield. Yeah, guess that should do it. Yep, there we go. So if, if my oh I haven't checked um, if. Uh, where is it? Uh, if input get key code dot mouse get key key code one zero and fill it in and and was um, and car emo is bigger than zero. All right. Now, if it's zero, I can't shoot anymore. Now when I press R. I still can't shoot. I have to wait three seconds, and I can shoot again. You can see the time on the right. Up, oh, I forgot something. When I press R, what I want to do is reload time is equal to. Hmm. Um, Now remove this one and add a new float. Oh, uh, yeah, add a new float. Public float current reload time. So real time back to back to at, at the three float and. 
current reload time is equal to reload time down here reload time change this to current reload time current reload time oh, when I go back to game to game when I shoot the time should be reset to 3 oh, it's not 3 so when I shoot again when I'm to reload now it should go back to 3 yep that's what I expected now when I shoot again now if I shoot 10 it should decrease the backup ammo only by 10 so it should be 20 alright it's reloading now when I shoot 10 again it should be 10 when I shoot 5 it should be 5 now when I shoot 20 now it's not enough so what do you go so what you have to do is change the max the current ammo to 25 and the backup ammo to zero let's see if it does that it doesn't something's wrong here so <clears throat> if backup ammo is lower than shot current ammo I guess plus equal backup ammo is that I guess that's how to fix that let me check it again no this gun is shooting way too slow and reload timer is way too long it's gonna change that for testing purposes now should be 10 I'm gonna shoot so it's by two so if i shot three if i can now it should go to the nine there we go can't load anymore if i don't have it either oh i can still reload <laughs> that's the problem so this one add and why do i keep percent percentage percentage um backup ammo is bigger than zero I'm gonna change this one and gonna remove the, uh, the time to, re to reload I'm gonna change the time to reload to one second and the time it takes the next shot to zero and if I shoot now if, if so my backup ammo is zero so on the right side when I press R I can still shoot so the current reload time should not um, add to one second or to the reload time because there's no more backup ammo so it's working fine so that's all for this tutorial um, on the next tutorial I'll be showing you how to make the gun to change like the fire mode of the gun to semi-automatic and to automatic in a click so stay tuned